Meanwhile, the Pitt campus is making adjustments to help out UPMC and the increasing demand on its staff. John Shumway is live in Oakland to explain. John. Yeah, with the students out, there are possibilities. And over my left shoulder, you see Presby, UPMC Presbyterian Hospital. And to my right, that very large tannish brown building is Lothrop Hall. Now, we've heard the stories across the country of medical professionals who are working very long hours and not wanting to take that risk home with them. That is where Lothrop Hall comes in. University of Pittsburgh Chancellor Patrick Gallagher says Lothrop is currently being emptied of any of the remaining students that were, all, that were there so it can be made available to medical personnel who are working extra shifts and can't go home. And it's being made available at no charge. Under normal circumstances, Lothrop can house more than 700 students on its 14 floors. Most of those are in single rooms. Now, while it's closest to Presby and one of Pitt's largest dorms, Lothrop is only one of many of the dorms on the Pitt campus. Chancellor Gallagher says the university is under active consideration about what other facilities could be made available if the UPMC system gets challenged and it actually needs more space for patients. Currently, there are 500 students who are still on the campus, and as you heard, they are all being moved into uh, a central area. That leaves an awful lot of space in the remaining dormitories available should UPMC find a greater need as this coronavirus spikes. But right now, they're okay. They don't need the extra space as far as for patients, but if they need it, Pitt certainly can step in and help. Live on the Pitt campus, John Shumway, KDKA News.